at this place in history we're in new haven with steve perkins the executive director of the vermont historical society and steve a lot of people are going to remember something that used to be in this place and it's the reason we're here this week absolutely mike we are we're on the site of uh, what used to be the dog team tavern we're on dog team tavern road and um, as as most viewers know it uh, tragically burned back in 2006 but we're here to talk about the early history of this tavern. Um, so it all connects to a man named Sir Wilfred Grenfell. And there are many, many books and movies and documentaries that you can go learn about his life. Um, he was a doctor, uh, English, and uh, worked for the British uh, Deep Sea Fishermen's Mission. And while doing that, he heard about the fishermen of Newfoundland Labrador. We're talking 18. Uh, early 20th century and it was it was a rough place it was poor he individually uh, raised the money to go out and start providing services and realized that it, it was going to use so much more than he could provide and more that the the North Sea you know the fishermen uh, mission could provide so he started raising money himself fast forward married a woman from the United States, a lady, Anne Grenfell, and her family had a connection to Vermont. Her yeah. mother actually lived in, in Burlington for a few years, and so they bought a summer home in Shalott, and uh, near Cedar Beach, uh, and summered here. And so while they were doing that, they realized, well, this can be mm -hmm. a home base for fundraising. And so they built what we came to know as the Dog Team Tavern um, in New Haven. This was a, a, a way of philanthropy that was very popular in the early 20th century. So saying, okay, if people are fishing all summer long, what are they doing in the winter? Sure. Let's create an industry, a handcraft industry, where we can then sell the goods, all run by volunteers. Folks would come through, they'd get tea, maybe dinner, um, but really it was a showroom for these goods. You mentioned uh, what we would consider a hooked rug as one of the items, the one that's right in front of you. Yeah, and I think that's what people associate with uh, Grenfell Industries the most are the, the rugs or the mats. A, a lot of them hung in the dog team and I think folks who went and, and had dinner at the dog team anytime up until when it burned would have remembered seeing a lot of these mats. Nice map of Newfoundland. Um, so you see here's the island of Newfoundland and then part of Labrador and you can still find these, you can still buy them, they're in museums all over um, the country. Um, they had weaving shops where they made fabric and that's what this coat is made yes. out of and it's actually called, it's a Grenfell weave or a Grenfell fabric named after um, the shop and it's a very tightly woven fabric. Um, to stop the that Arctic wind. Yeah. So it wasn't just textiles, so but also carving as well. So I've got a small soapstone um, carved uh, Inuit. His wife, Lady Anne, died in 1938. Um, he retired to Vermont, okay. and he lived his last few years uh, here, and he died in, in Shalott, though his ashes are in St. Andrew up in, in Newfoundland. The tavern carried on through World War II, um, and at that point, the idea of raising money through tea rooms and things like that started to go down. So the tavern was then sold um, to a, a family, the Joy family, um, who owned it for many years. And, and then it went through a, a series of, of owners, um, a more traditional restaurant. A great many people in our coverage area will no doubt have fond memories of it. And Steve, if anybody wishes uh, to relive those, uh, what uh, materials or ways uh, do all of you at the Historical Society have that they might be able to use? So we have a lot of documents relating um, to the Grenfells and the early time um, of the Dog Team Tavern. And so you can come visit our library. We've got lots of books on Grenfell, on his life, on the, the fundraising and these things here. A British medical missionary to Canada with a Vermont connection at this place in history. This is Fox 44 Morning Brew.